touch, we break Make it seem like we feel the same We love what we hate We lie, but we know We can't water what doesn't grow Give up, let it go But we fell apart just in time Yo YouTube, what is good man? Welcome back to another video by Ralph Mesador. So today's video is going to be very different as you guys can see by the title. Um, I did say previously that I want to start getting into different kind of videos, um, not necessarily just Air Force or firefighting videos. Um, as you can see here, my 2014 Volkswagen GLI Edition 30, you can't see the badge, but um, like I said, I want to start kind of getting into the car videos as well, kind of just showcasing my car, just Show you guys the different mods I do to my car. My car's not completely stock. I enjoy driving this. Uh, this is the six speed manual. Um, you can, of course, get the GLI in automatic, but this is the Edition 30, so the only way to do this right was to get the um, manual. Now, like I said, this car's not brand new. I did pick it up uh, used about a year and a half ago, and there are some mods done to it. Unfortunately, I do not know all the mods done to it, but if you guys cannot tell, um, stance i mean this car is definitely lowered i mean just look at this maybe about like i don't know maybe like an inch if that but stupid clean um so this car is lowered on some springs there's a unitronic cold air intake in there um plastic dip aesthetic stuff here which this is what we're going to be replacing right here today um we're going to be getting rid of this oem lip spooler and i'm going to be go ahead and getting in that box right there is the new lip spoiler i'm going to be adding which i think you guys are going to love it's going to just bring a pop to the vehicle it's going to look so much cleaner um what else is done to this i know there's some other stuff done to this car um oh the headlights if you guys seen in the little intro video the headlights on this they are aftermarket as well um did the buy scene on the double u's um which i think those are stupid clean over the OEM ones that does that come on the uh, Edition 30. Um, every other light bulb on the interior cab lights, um, like the license plate lights are here. Everything's already been changed out to LED lights as well. So since I've gotten the car, I haven't really done a whole lot to it, man. Just, uh, just kept up with maintenance and all that. But nonetheless, um, let's just get back on topic to what this video is gonna be about. So like I said, in that box right there is the new spoiler. I'm gonna go ahead and unbox that real quick and show you guys what that looks like. There she is, coming out the box. Let's just set that aside real quick. All right, so this is all the contents out of the box. So if you guys want factory names and stuff, this is called DTO, Design Taiwan Original. Um, this is just return policies and all that, which we don't really care about. This is the 3M adhesive. Yup, so this is what you're gonna use to actually stick this onto the vehicle. As you guys can hear, it's very hollow. So, in terms of durability and whatnot, probably not a whole lot of it. I mean, this could probably be very prone to snapping, but I'm not gonna say it's very cheap, but it is definitely nice. So, here it is right here. As you can see, it's got the nice carved edges. It's gonna give it that just cleaner look. Here's the OEM one, right? Nothing too fancy. It's there, it's nice. The new one. I'm just gonna kind of rest it there. It's obviously not gonna be this high, but as you can see, the difference already. So the first task, of course, is going to be to remove the OEM lip spoiler. Now, all these spoilers are really just stuck on with some kind of adhesive. Um, it's not like they're like bolted on in there or anything like that. It's not like they're, you know, gonna be super difficult to remove from the trunk itself. For doing this, if you're gonna use like some kind of prying tool, I'd be very careful to not use like a metal because you don't want to damage your paint. And Heat gun, the heat gun's warming up. And just so I don't melt the paint off my vehicle, because I'm trying to get like right under these areas. And I'm just gonna take some fishing line and run it through and kind of like floss it all the way down along with the help of the heat gun. So we'll see how that works. Oh! <laughs> yeah, 
really did it for the last round. Yeah, it's, no, it's not like. So, spoiler's obviously not on yet. But this is what it will be looking like. Just grab the other lip spoiler off. That just looks stupid clean. Cover all the goo. So I'll do my best to clean it all off. You know, from a distance, it doesn't look that bad, but when you get closer in detail, there's a lot more crap on it. So, I low-key actually kind of jacked up myself too. I didn't have any priming tool. I wasn't like 100% prepared, but if you look here, where is it? So right here, there's some scuffs on my paint, which is bad, but it still shows silver. So it's really just a clear coat. I can order, I don't know what it's called. It's like a little like tube that they that you could buy from Volkswagen on the website uh, with your actual paint color. You send them the code and then they'll send it to you, you buy it. Essentially what we're doing, we're just trying to cover all this under part with tape, just so we know what we're working with. So it's gonna look something like this. Oh, yeah, all with the five burpees in the running. Yeah, and 225? Yes, I did 80 reps at 225. <laughs> and then. Look at that tape underneath there. This it's getting hard here. This one's hard. Halfway on. Yep, it's ripping. You see that? All right, so we're finally done installing that spoiler. Um, it did not work out 100% as planned as I wanted to. Things didn't work out. Uh, you know, things didn't come out uh, picture perfect. Like I said, I got the scratch on my car. The adhesive did not fully come off. So I'll just show you guys the final touch, what everything's looking like. And we'll roll with it. But honestly, it's still looking clean. Once I get the touch up, I'm gonna get rid of these lines right here. But other than that, I think the job decently well done. So we'll pull the car out the garage, show you guys really what's going on here. car videos to come on the channel uh showcasing my gli and then probably my buddy's gli too since we drive the same car um hope you guys enjoyed it again hit that like button uh comment down below any questions you have comment down below if you guys uh you know have any better solutions for you know these things right here but other than that hit that subscribe button and i'll see you guys on the next video Thanks for I'm